What's up guys, it's Nick here at Fantasy Forge Miniatures and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of techniques on how to get some really great textures into your builds. So there's three main textures that you're going to want to master when you're doing fantasy style, medieval style buildings. And that's going to be stone, stucco, and tefe. And tefe. Wood, stone, and stucco. Now I'm going to show you multiple ways to do each one of these textures. And I know there's many, many more, but I'm going to show you the ones that I found most effective. So let's get crafting. The first technique I'm going to show you is how to make stone texture with just a piece of tin foil, crumpling it up into a ball, and then just rolling it right out onto your styrofoam. And that's it. It's as simple as that. This is going to give you a really great stone texture look. All the bumps and the inconsistencies of the tin foil are getting transferred to the styrofoam. And what I like to do after doing a big roller pass at it is I'll take just the end of it and I'll just kind of push in really hard into certain areas just to give a bit of variation to the stone. And that's it. You're gonna get this really great stone texture look and it's really gonna come alive when you paint it. Now the second technique for making stone is by using a wood burning tool or a soldering iron. Basically the same thing. And all you do is heated up to about 300 and then you can use different areas of the soldering gun to get different effects. I have a very fine tip on mine so I can actually use it to create the outlines of the stonework. You can see here you can just have fun you can make you know straight lines of bricks if you're really careful um, but you can actually just outline where you want the stones to go. Now you can take the blunt side of it and just pass along it. And as you heat up the styrofoam, um, it's gonna slightly melt, it's gonna slightly, you know, kind of melt a little bit and you're gonna get this really great texture. Now you're gonna wanna wear a mask when you do this because uh, styrofoam fumes are not healthy. Um, so always safety first. You're gonna get this really cool organic stone texture look. You can recede different areas by just holding it a little bit longer and melting that area a little bit more. And you can also use this with the technique that I just showed you of using a tin foil. So after doing this, you can take a piece of tin foil and just go over to accentuate some more of the finer details of the stone. One of the benefits of using the wood iron melting stone texture technique is actually when you melt it, it cauterizes the styrofoam so it becomes a little bit more durable and a little bit harder. So I like to use this technique when I'm doing, you know, the edge uh, of maybe a platform piece or something I know that's going to get um, quite a bit of wear and tear because it, um, it'll just make it last a little bit longer. So that is the second technique for creating stone texture. Now the third technique for creating stone texture is actually by using stones. So I went out and I found some pieces of asphalt and you know some just regular stones that I found um, just outside. I put them in this bowl, something that I can put a lid on, and then um, I take my styrofoam pieces. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm doing a bunch of bricks, and I'll just put them there in with the stones, put the lid on, that sealed up tight because things get flying around and then I just shake it take the lid off and now all your bricks are going to be imprinted with actual stone textures and this is a great way if you're doing a bunch of bricks at once um, because it's uh, it's very fast and you don't have to do one individually. Uh, it's just a little bit loud, but um, it's a great way to do a lot of bricks. And uh, what I actually do is I'll go and I'll make just a, a huge pile of them so that I can use them for every single build that I do going out. Uh, and it helps keep really good continuity uh, between all of my builds. So that is a really easy technique uh, for doing a lot of stone texturing at once, especially for you know little bricks like this. 
Now for wood texturing, it's just as simple as stone texturing. All you have to do is grab a steel brush. I picked this one up from the dollar store for literally a dollar. And you just drag it across your styrofoam. And immediately all of the little wires are gonna start cutting into the, into the styrofoam. And you're gonna start to get this really great wood grain texture. And that's literally it. Um, you can stop right there and be okay. Now this gives a really nice, fine, realistic wood texture. What I like to do after using this steel brush is actually I'll take just a sculpting tool, something with a, you know, a small point on it, and I'll just drag it across um, in the different grooves uh, to just try to accentuate some of the gr wood grain, um, you know, and give a little bit of better readability from distance. Um, just give it a little bit of better readability from a distance. Then what I like to do is to create uh, you know some variation and some knots is I'll just take the tip I'll push it in and I'll give it a little bit of a twist and it's gonna start to create these kind of like little little chunks that look like uh, little cutouts that look like knots. And that's it. You end up with a really great realistic wood texture. Very quick, very easy. The other technique for creating wood texture is by using a foam cutting tool with a wand extension. Now, this particular wand has a little bit of a crimp at the end, uh, which creates this little groove which you can use uh, to your benefit to create wood texture. So all you do is heat it up to about medium. Um, if you go too hot, you're just gonna melt right through and it's gonna make your wood texture look like a mess. Um, so you wanna go on the lighter end of the heating. And all you do is just drag it across and immediately you'll start to see these little grooves that start to look like wood texture. Now this method I actually prefer over using a steel brush for a number of reasons. Um, one, I really like uh, the more cartoony, exaggerated look, which is what you're gonna get uh, with this wand because there's not as many grooves and they're more defined. Um, another reason is uh, the steel brush actually creates a lot of dust, um, kind of styrofoam dust that gets in the air and uh, I don't particularly like that. This one um, keeps your desk a little bit more clean. So anyway, you're gonna get this really great wood texture look. Now, to do the knots, it's very simple as well. All you do is just take the tip and you just kind of notch out little holes randomly, let it melt a little bit longer, and you're gonna get these really great knots. So this is my particular favorite method of getting wood texture. Now for texturing stucco, it's gonna be very similar to doing stone texture. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take your tin foil ball that you use to create the stone texture. You're gonna to wanna to roll it out on something hard to just smooth out a bit of the higher indentations. And then take that and just roll it right onto your styrofoam, just like you did with the stonework. Now you can see here, right away, you get a nice uneven stucco look. Now, because we smoothed out the tin foil, we don't get such heavy indentation, which gives it a more stucco style of a look. And this is what I use for all of my builds to get really good stucco texturing. Another way of enhancing your stucco texturing is by taking your wood burning or soldering iron and setting it to a very low temperature with a fine tip and then just dragging it across and start to make these little bit of a cracks. So you're gonna to wanna to set this to a very low setting because if it gets too hot, it'll just burn right through. Now, if you'd like to take it further, you can take your soldering iron and just nicely melt away an area, just like this. And what this is gonna be as if the stucco has actually fallen off, broken apart, broken down, weathered, and then take the fine tip of the tool and just run it right along and make a brick texture in the background. And it looks like the stucco that was placed on top of the bricks has fallen off and has showing the exposed brick layer. And I find this adds a really great bit of detail to just what would be a regular stucco wall. So you can see right there, what a great way to throw in uh, a little bit of added detail to your build. 
And that's it guys, it's just that simple. I use these techniques on all my builds, but experimentation is a huge part of the fun in this hobby. So go ahead, hit me up in the comments with all the crazy ways that you guys do your texturing. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you wanna stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always, keep on crafting.